what's up guys welcome back to everything wedding i hope that you guys are having a fantastic day and a fantastic week thank you so much for clicking on this video today and in today's video we have some amazing elegant gowns that you're gonna share with you and we also have some tips to give you guys on what colors you need to wear to a wedding so guys if you're not yet subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button uh, don't forget to share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's get on with the video so in today's video we have a couple of things that we need to tackle number one thing that you're gonna tackle is if you can wear red to a wedding and we're also gonna be talking about some of the colors that you cannot get to wear to a wedding as a guest by the way we are talking about you have been invited to a wedding the colors that you are supposed to wear and the colors that you're not supposed to wear so a lot of questions that we're getting along the way is if we can wear red to a wedding so let's say you're invited to a wedding and you get excited then you start thinking about what am i going to wear so you plan your outfits and uh, this is because you also want to look great but you don't want to look better than the wedding couple you don't want to look better than the bride because it's their day so how do i get that uh, how do i get a look that's appropriate and elegant and what color should i wear and which uh, color should i avoid so we're going to answer all those questions on this video today so one of the things that we're going to be tackling today is the reasons why wearing red to a wedding is rude. So one of the biggest wedding no-no colors is red. And why is that? Let me just tell you guys, there is no right answer to these questions. There are a few reasons why you should avoid red. However, some women don't follow the rule of not wearing red and it's okay. Everybody has a choice to make. So classic red is very bold and it's a very vivid shade because it draws attention. Some brides do not like it because it's going to steal the show and it's going to be more visible on photos and especially the photos that we take in groups. So you want to avoid red because of that. So if you still want to wear red, it's, it's alright, but kindly just make sure that the bride is okay with it. Choose minimalist silhouettes uh, that won't draw attention from the happy couple like uh, deep cranberry or burgundy dress will be a good alternative to red. Another color that we get asked a lot if you can wear black to a wedding traditionally black is referred to a color of mourning because we have seen so many people wear black in funerals and in some culture it's considered to be a very unlucky shade like the hindu so we surely have that one lbd little black dress in our closet and it's better to leave it for other occasions so kindly do not wear black to a wedding another color we get asked a lot is can you wear white to a wedding well the answer is pretty obvious and i know most of you already know the answer because white is a bright color and you don't want to overshadow her and if you already bought that snow white slip dress just return it to your closet and save it for some other event even if it's pretty uh, obvious rule that everyone should know some women forget to and they or some some women just simply uh, decide to ignore it and show up in a white dress or a jumpsuit don't do that unless you have an agreement with a bride you don't want to ruin, ruin other people's wedding day so alongside white black and red there are some other colors that you should completely avoid and i'm gonna tackle some of those colors and the first color that you're gonna tackle is off white or ivory so anything that is too close to white should be avoided eggshell of white ivory beige and champagne can be all shade of a bright dress so you definitely don't want people to mistake you for the bride right so the second color is gold gold is one of those colors that need to be avoided it's too close to champagne which is also the uh, no no color so some braid usually the modern ones won't follow the rules about wearing white but something close to it you can choose to go gold so it is they can choose to go gold i mean the bride can choose to go gold so it's best for you to stay away from the gold color the other colors that you really need to avoid are the over sparkly ones and the heavily metallic glitter is fine but make sure you won't go over the line with it otherwise save that dress for saturday night out or a bachelorette party when it comes to metallic you should have, they should be avoided as well as sparkles especially if the wedding takes place during the day you should pick a dress uh, with sparkly details uh, sure but avoid all the metallic everything looks 
some other thing you need to some other colors that you should avoid are the bridesmaids dress color so before buying your dress you can ask the bride about the bridesmaids dress colors it will be very awkward if you appear at the wedding in the same shade as all the bridesmaids because you look like a wannabe and trust us is not pleasant at all so instead of having discomfort make sure that you check in with the bride the other colors you need to avoid is the mother of the bride's color dress or the groom dress color. I, I know that all of you guys know what I mean when I say all that. So the same rule can be applied to the mother of the bride or the groom dress colors. Don't wear the same shade or colors as them. Make sure you put this as another question for the bride. So before buying your wedding guest dress, kindly confirm with the bride what color is the uh, mother of the bride going to wear and what color is the groom going to wear so because we've talked about the colors you need to avoid we're also going to be tackling the colors that you will not go wrong with to wear at a wedding so there are safe colors that can definitely be worn to a wedding so always follow your style and don't experiment with colors and cuts too much so because we've given you guys colors that you need to avoid in case you're attending a wedding, we are also going to be sharing with you some colors that you would want to consider because they are safe colors that you can definitely wear to a wedding. But always follow your style and don't experiment with colors and cuts too much. So one of the colors that you might want to consider in case you're attending a wedding is navy blue and because you might be a fan of dark colors, you should choose navy blue over a black dress. So you can also consider wearing purple because one of the jewel tones you should definitely consider is a deep purple or the color of plum. Uh, it matches both gold and silver jewelry. And also you can wear emerald green is a, a color that will certainly look great on you. It's perfect for fall and winter wedding. The green toned maxi dresses are usually very elegant. They are chic and they're great for women with minimalistic styles. Another color that you might want to consider is gray because gray is a neutral shade that is great for matching or wearing alone. You can go for some em embellished silver details but do not overdo it. You can also wear dusty blue to a wedding because blue in all its form is perfect for wedding attires. You can also do burgundy or mulberry because uh, while red is one of the biggest no-nos in the wedding while burgundy or mulberry is much more acceptable it is a nice wintry color of a wine uh, that leaves no one indifferent so guys i'm gonna leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video and kindly consider subscribing don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified when we upload as you guys can see we are also trying to make our channel more you know useful and meaningful to you guys so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up in case you enjoyed it and please let me know in the comment section which dress was your favorite and why was it don't forget to share this video and i hope that i'll be able to see you guys on the next one say it again say it again you're saying you're sorry so say it again only you can make my world go black Say you love me, then you take it back Say it again, say it again uh, You want my forgiveness, so say it again You're my thunder of my darkest night You just can't go back and make it right Cause it's too late
you feel bad, so say it. 